द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज वीडियो इज पाइप लाइनिंग फर्स्टली वट डू यू मीन बाय पाइप लाइनिंग पाइप लाइनिंग इन अ लीम एंड लैंग्वेज इज कलेक्शन ऑफ सेगमेंट थ्रू विच इंफॉर्मेशन इज फ्लोइंग स्टिल वॉट इज पाइप लाइनिंग Now, pipelining is a process. is basically decomposing a process into sub operations, with each sub operation being executed in a segment, and multiple segments operating concurrently. There is a process. It is decomposed into sub processes. Right. and then these sub processes are being executed in segments and these segments can also operate concurrently the result of every segment is stored in a register which can the result of every segment is stored in a register and the register result can be passed on to other segments also and finally after completing this process we get a final result again in our register itself let's demonstrate the process of pipelining through an example where we'll consider a combination of operations saying ai multiplied bi plus ci where i is the number of bits 1 to 7 now this is a process which includes two sub operations which in one is multiplication the other is addition how can we separate these sub operations into segments is what we are going to do now let's illustrate it what we are having is two operands ai and bi which are loaded into two registers simultaneously because first operation to be performed is the multiplication between a and b and the other is the result is being added to ci therefore we are loading ai and bi into two registers this is the segment 1 the result is going into a multiplier this is segment 2 and the result of this multiplier is being stored in a register r3 and simultaneously we need the operand ci into another register that is r4 and then these two inputs will get into an adder which is segment 3 and the result of this segment is stored in another register that is r5 which will be the final output so we have three segments and every segment's result is being stored into registers and the final output is obtained again into a register that is r5 here now the five registers are loaded with new data every clock pulse the effect of this clock we will illustrate it again in an example in a table now let's make the table for that this is the table representing the clock pulse the segments according to this example and the registers involved in that particular segment now during the clock pulse one only the two operands a1 and b1 were loaded into the respective registers and other segments were empty in clock pulse two the second bit of these two operands were loaded into r1 and r2 simultaneously the first bit were getting multiplied and c1 was being loaded the third segment was still empty during the third clock pulse the third bit was loaded here the second bit was multiplied and the second bit was loaded here plus the first three first bits of all the three operands were being operated and the final result was obtained here now as we get the final output was the first bit 
This process will go on until we get the same final result for all the bits. Because we assumed i to be from 1 to 7, we will have to obtain the result till the 7th bit for all a, b and c. And therefore, for this particular operation, it will take 9 clock pulses to get the output. So this was all about the introduction of pipelining. Thank you.